and 99.9% .9 of the time, I find the snitch right here. So all you want to do is walk up to him. You don't have to accept the bounty. Just talk to him, and he reveals the location to Mendoza. And, and that will put up the shopping cart little icon to let you know where Mendoza currently is. Uh, and I'm just half blind because apparently I can't see the, the little white cart. Um, but yeah, she's on here somewhere. And once I do find her, um, I will definitely... Oh, I'm standing right on top of her. I'm such an idiot. But we'll go there and uh, we'll see you guys in a moment. There, there is the Truman Safe House uh, right down there. So it's out the west side of Truman Safe House. So you just come up the street, hop up and over, look to your left, and you'll see this little parking area in the with the white van. And you just want to proceed in the door and then down the manhole or down the rabbit hole. Hopefully she'll have better stuff than uh, what we saw on the uh, regular and clan vendor reset. Don't fail me now, baby. All right, Pyromaniac starting out, but first let me hop over here and turn on the base damage before I get chewed out in the, the, the comment section, which is understandable. Base damage, 41.4, uh, 73.7K with this particular build, 10% assault rifle damage, 8.5 uh, health damage, and then 6% damage to targets out of cover. So all in all, not too bad. Definitely uh, above average. You could easily put 5% more assault rifle damage on there. Or you can uh, up the health damage to, I believe it's max at 11%. Or you can even go with the uh, max of damage to targets out of cover, which would be uh, the same, I believe, around 10%. Also, the pristine example. 9.9% .9 weapon damage, 14,990 health with crit chance on it, and then perfect focus. Increased total weapon damage by 6% every second you are aiming while scoped with 8 times or higher uh, scope, and that is up to 60% requires a scope, as you can see, 8 times magnification or higher. Not too bad. So far, a lot better than the regular and clan vendor reset. Next, we have an ongoing directed backpack, 8.9% weapon damage, 16.4% repair skills, and of course, the backpack has the emergency requisition. Reloading your weapon automatically collects all combat resources, armor kits, ammo grenades within 40 meters. Next, we have a hardwired chest piece, plus one skill tier, 9.4% critical hit damage. And of course, the chest piece has the positive reinforcement. Moving on, we have a striker glove, 7.9% weapon damage, 9.7% hazard protection. Moving on, we have striker knee pads, 10% weapon damage, 16,274 health. You can usually roll that... Uh, crit chance or crit damage, whichever you personally prefer. Next we have a hardwired holster, plus one skill tier, 2.6% crit chance. And not the greatest, but since it only has that one attribute stat on it, you can easily change that crit chance to whatever you so choose. Moving on, we have a true patriot mask with 1 to 37, 615 armor, 4.4% critical hit chance. Not too bad, above average. Moving on, we have a PP-19 with 11 SMG damage, 14.5% crit chance, and 8.5% magazine size with a steady handed. Next, we have a classic M44 carbine with 12% of marksman rifle damage, 66 headshot damage, and then 12.5% magazine size with reformation. We have China Light Industry Gloves, plus one skill tier, 7.9% has protection, 3.3% critical hit chance. Uh, Murakami Holster, plus one skill tier, 9.7% critical hit damage, 8.2% headshot damage, excuse me. Next we have a defensive mod with 7.8% shock resistance, and then, a, then the regular and clan vendor reset. So if you're still looking for a decent pyro maniac, well here's one for you. Uh, at least it already has above average 10% assault rifle damage, and then you can tweak the health damage or damage to targets out of cover as you see fit. And of course the pristine example. If you run like running marksman rifle builds, it already has 4.2 crit chance, so you can easily put crit damage instead of health on it, or even up the weapon damage to the max of 15%, and then it has that offensive bot slot. So definitely come by and check these out over here at Mendoza next to Truman Safe House. And remember, if you feel that any all any and all these pieces are trash, don't kill the messenger. I'm just here to hopefully save you time and to let you know beforehand. Uh, so that way, if nothing is in Mendoza that suits your needs, uh, then by all means, you don't have to go through the process of finding the snitch and then finding Mendoza herself. So do not kill the messenger. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you fudging later.